Hello and welcome back to the Bleed Tweezers channel with our playthrough here recorded of Malta Besiege by Worthington Games designed by Steve Carey. We went through the game and we also went through the first turn so let's crack on with further turns. We start with the headline phase of turning over the card and reading it out we have Operation Hurry. Uh, let me just have a quick look at the text on here. A dozen hurricane fighters made the first so-called club run to Malta from the carrier Argus in August 1940. Meanwhile additional aircraft were being delivered to Malta even as the Battle of Britain still raged, demonstrating Churchill's great resolve to preserve Malta his unsinkable aircraft carrier. So now we have our card for headline phase on the military phase. Do we have a convoy? We do not. We just act on the tracks here and we have the Regia and Aeronautica here. So let's move that close to the Malta. It's in box one, it's one away from Malta. We really need to do something about that. On our resource phase, we look for resources and there are none. We get nothing from anybody. And finally in our orders phase uh, we then look to see what the dice roll modifiers are and we have a minus two versus the Regio Esercito, the Italian army has a minus two and the military has a plus one. And for our orders we have two orders to play with. We really have to focus on the Regio Aeronautica so we will roll against a two, we need to roll more than that, that's our first order. A six is great, we push it back in the track. Now what else would we like to do? Now we could attack it again, and we also could attack Regia Marina. We could look at improving the tracks here. I'm wondering whether if we try and get morale up to here would be great. I don't want to really have a go there. Or we could improve, we could do a fortify action, which we could improve the mortar fortress from a 2 up to a 3. Being slightly paranoid, I think I will want to attack probably the Regian Aeronautia here again to put it back up to the 3. So again, we'll roll for a two. A three is good enough. They're back up on the three slot. And that's our orders phase. On to housekeeping. There is no convoy. There's no victory or defeat to determine yet. So we refresh, picking up the die roll modifier markers. And that's our turn with Operation Hurry. Let's go to the next turn, headline phase, and look at another card. And here we have the Battle of Calabria, card number four. I'll just read it out. The first notable encounter between the Italian and British task forces, both of which were covering convoys, on 9 July 1940, turned out to be the only meeting of the campaign where the two opposing main battle groups engaged each other. The Italians, upon retiring, were humiliated when bombed by their own aeroplanes. So into our military phase, there is no convoy. So we just take note of the two icons in the military part of the card and the Regia Marina moves one and the Regina Aeronautica moves one as well. We're now threatened by the Italian Navy more than the Air Force. On to the resources phase and yet again we have no resources from the card. So generous. And on to our orders phase. What's our die roll modifiers? We have another minus two on the Regio Esercito. We have a plus one on the Regia Marina. Well, that's really useful. And once we've placed those, what's our orders? Well, of course, it's staring at us in the face here. 
we need a one order at least to push the Reggio Marina back. So that's what we'll do. And we're really looking for anything but a one. A six is good enough. Push it back up to two. Now I'm thinking with our second order, we still haven't we have an advantage here. So why not have another go at the Reggio Marina just to get them way back into Naples? I think we'll do that. Again, anything but a one. A five. That pushes Reggio Marina way back. Good, feel a bit better about that. That's our orders phase. Housekeeping, no convoy. Remove our DRMs. On to the next card for the headline phase for the next turn. And we have Operation Catapult. Okay, so reading that, with France defeated, their navy remained a threat in being as the Axis powers could potentially seize and use it. This was an unacceptable risk to the British. Thus, after an ultimatum and negotiation had failed, the Royal Navy dealt a crippling bow to the French Navy at Mersel Kabir on 3rd July 1940. So yes, Mersel Kabir, the famous uh, uh, action in World War II. We see there are no military actions and there's no convoy either. It also tells us that Ultra would be made not ready. We don't have Ultra yet, so that doesn't affect us. So in the military phase, nothing happens. With resources, we actually lose some. Minus one supply. Also, minus one morale, but only if this card is revealed before card number two, the fall of France. If we have a quick look, we have not had the fall of France, so this is revealed early. I suppose that means that the British have attacked the French before the French have actually surrendered to the Germans. So that means minus one morale as well. Great. Okay, on to our orders phase and our DRMs. None of them are good. Again, a minus two to the Regio Esercito and a minus one to morale and the Regio Aeronautica. That's quite irritating. That was a tempting target for this turn. On our orders, we have two actions available. And I think given the bad die roll modifiers we have here, I think we will attempt to create the Malta Fortress improvement. Uh, that needs to be a three. So four, five or six. A four is good enough. So our two becomes a three. For our second action, I think we might try and get some supply. Again on a three, we don't want it to fall to zero. If one of these tracks falls to zero, you get a penalty which is written there for morale. All resource rolls have a minus one DRM automatically. For supply, you cannot raid. We can't raid yet anyway. And a minus one DRM to all attacks, which is what most of what we've been doing so far in the game. And for military, no raids and one attack or air support. So we're limited to the number of attacks down to one, no matter how many orders we have. I think we'll go for supply. So again, we're looking for four, five or six. A three is not good enough. Uh, we don't get anything. Housekeeping phase, no convoy again. Refreshing with the die roll modifiers. On to the next headline phase for the, uh, for the new turn. The card is the Ca uh, Battle of Cape Spartivento. On 27th November 1940, an inconclusive engagement occurred between the British fleet and the Italian Navy, with both forces suffering minor losses and then withdrawing. This allowed a small but fast convoy from Gibraltar, Operation Collar, to successfully divide and all ships arrived safely at either Malta or Alexandria. 
that's on your card and in the military phase first thing we need to spot is is there a convoy on the card now it does mention it in the text but there isn't actually one in the military area of the card at all so we have no convoy so we look and see what the military movements are so the first is we have the Luftwaffe now that's not in the game at the moment and it says here we've got a star and the star says also if in play after advancing the Luftwaffe's unit's battle value is adjusted down by one if it is all currently at four so it's not currently at four it's not currently anything so that we can actually ignore because the Luftwaffe counter has not actually entered play yet so you move across and we've got the Regia Marina starting to make its presence felt again well that's our military phase on our resources phase by an amazing happenstance we actually get some resources we had plus one supply now onto our orders phase what's our die roll modifiers minus one to the military and regia essacito and we also have a plus one on supply Once we place that, how many actions do we get? We get two. So what are we going to do here? Well, we have uh, three options of dealing with these guys. We also have the plus one on supply here, which would be nice. I think that's where we should focus. So I think we should get a roll against supply. Normally need a four, five or six. Now it's a three, four, five or six. Let's try that. A three would not normally be good enough, but with a die roll modifier that becomes a four, so that is good enough for a supply. And I think we should probably go for the Regia Marina to push it back again. We need three, four, five, or six. That's our second action. A five is great. That pushes them back. Right, that's our orders phase. Housekeeping, no convoy. So we just remove our die roll modifier markers. Reasonably successful turn there. Okay, on to the headline phase of the next turn. We have Operation Judgment. Reading it out. The daring British raid upon the Italian naval base at Taranto on 11th to 12th November 1940 presaged the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. Swordfish bombers launched from the, uh, the carrier Illustrious crippled the Italian battle fleet and caused it to retreat back to Naples. Operation MB-8 brought troops and ACAC guns to Malta. Right, this sounds a positive card. So in our military phase... Do we have a convoy? We still don't have a convoy. On the military side, advancing the Regia Aeronautica but retreating the Marina. So this guy goes back up to four, but this chap ends up at one. That's not really great. On the resources side though, we get plus one military. That's welcome. Minus one supply. Well, we got one last turn. Easy come, easy go. And plus one morale. Again, welcome. If not in play, place the ultra marker in the holding box. It is now available for purchase. So we take our ultra counter and we put it up here in the holding box. So we could buy an action, put it into the ultra ready box. That's resources. Onto the orders phase. What's our DRMs? 
minus one to the Regio Marina, minus one, the Regio Esposito, and a plus one against Regio Aeronautica, exactly what we wanted. Two orders, I think it's probably worth spending both on the Regio Aeronautica while we have the advantage. So, anything but a one, a three is good. And I think let's do it again. A two, normally not enough, but with the diral modifier it is enough. And they're back to three. Bit of breathing space there, I think. That's our orders phase complete. Housekeeping phase, there is no convoy. There's no defeat or victory. We refresh by removing the DRMs. One thing it would have been nice to do would be to grab the ultra ready uh, marker, but I think it was important to get this guy back a couple of spaces. On to the next turn. We have Italians invade Greece. Il Duce's ill advised venture into Greece on October the 28th, 1940 put more pressure on the Italian Air Force and took some pressure off Malta. Difficult terrain and stubborn Greek defence stalled the Italian drive. On 11th October, the British prevailed in the naval engagement at Cape Passera as more supplies reached Malta. OK, again, reasonably positive card. Let's see how it pans out. For military, we retreat the Regia Aeronautica. Very nice. We advance the marina though, and we also advance, advance the Regia Esposito, that we don't like. We don't really want them getting towards the uh, Egyptian border here. That's our military, there is no convoy. So, on our resources we get plus one supply. Now with our orders phase, we put the DRMs out, minus one to military plus one to morale, plus one to Regia Marina, and plus one to Regia Esposito. So we have an opportunity against them. I think we should probably take it. We, for our orders, we have two actions. I think what we'll go for is we will grab the ultra counter for one action and the second action we will use against these chaps here I think. So anything but a one, a three is great, push them back to Tobruk. Now I'm wondering, I might want to use a supply to get a morale boost here. I think I will do that. So here, anything but a one to improve morale. A three, plus one is a four, is good. What I'm looking for here is very much like you, when you get to zero, you get a penalty. When you get to five, you get a bonus. The bonus for morale is once per turn, you may re-roll one resource or raid action. And re-rolling a resource is very, very useful. That's our two plus one, three actions. So now we do our housekeeping, no convoy again. We refresh by taking away the DRMs. And that ends the turn. And I think we'll just pause it there for this video. Hopefully we will See you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.